everyone, it's Sophia from My Great Challenge. Welcome back to my channel and another cleaning video. Today I'm doing the weekly home blessing. This is part of my Fly Lady series. Now if you remember last month I had done the entire zone cleaning for the month of May and I continued to do that for the month of June so far. Um, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing on the weekend which is basically just the weekly home blessing. So it's not a lot, it's basically quick pickup on the trash can, dust if I need, sanitize surfaces, vacuum and mop the floor. So I'm going to start with my master bathroom and you can see that I have been maintaining it pretty, pretty good. It's not all that cluttered. There's not a lot of things that need to be done. Just a few things that I need to pick up here and there. And I'm using those uh, sanitizing wipes. You can use the Clorox wipe or the dollar store. It doesn't matter. Just to go over the surfaces. And then I use some regular wipes to uh, clean up my brushes, all my makeup brushes. I usually give them a shampoo once a month. But when I do my weekly home blessing hour, I just go over them with a wipe. And then I use um, a flat surface like this just to do some of the eye makeup brushes. Now during the week, if you remember, I do the swish and swipe where I just go every single night. Um, I go through the toilet bowl and the sinks inside the bathrooms and I do the swishing with a mix. Right now it's a mix of bleach and just water. I'm getting rid of anything that needs to be thrown out, empty bottles products that don't necessarily work for me anymore and this is the Dawn detergent with the dish scrubber that I use for my bathtub it works really really great shaking the rugs getting all of the hair and dust on the floor and I'm now ready to vacuum I will follow with a quick mop now this bathroom all together took about, I'd say not even 15 minutes. It was really, really hot last Sunday, 91 degrees, and you know I don't have air conditioning upstairs, so you gotta remember to hydrate. This is my master bedroom. Now I changed the sheets already on Thursday. That's when I do towels and sheets, so I don't need to change them today. I'm just gonna make the bed and clean up the top surfaces. I'm still using the Clorox wipes to go over surfaces because remember I'm sanitizing everything and I did find some plexiglass to put on top of my nightstands if you remember I was looking for those So when you do the home blessing hour and you vacuum, you don't have to do a thorough vacuum. You basically just go through the high traffic areas. So for my staircase, I basically use a damp rag with a little bit of soapy water and that's it. So here's the master bedroom after. It's been staying relatively clutter free. Don't forget to take breaks in between. She recommends you take a break every 15 minutes. Now here's the office and it stayed really, really good. Um, granted, I haven't been using it too much, but this office altogether, I think it took less than 10 minutes to put together. All I had to do was just gather a few things that needed to be trashed, empty the trash can. 
quickly wipe the surfaces with the clock wipes. Vacuum, of course. And remember, we're doing high traffic, so you don't have to go through all the corners. All of that is being done when you are working in your zone. Moving on to William's room. Again, the sheets were changed already on um, Thursday, so I don't have to do that. The room has stayed very, very clean. I'm just going to go over flat surfaces with the sanitizing wipes. In particular, I'm going to do all of the knobs, his desk and his chair, anywhere I have gooey fingerprints, changing the trash. And I realized that he had still his uh, winter blankets, so I removed that and I'm just training up his bed a little bit. In this room, I still have a lot of work to do. I need to put some artwork, I need to clean the walls, I have to put some uh, hangers on the walls. Now, Edward's room has stayed really, really clean as well. I have to change that blanket since we are in the summer month now. And again, I changed the sheets already, so I don't have to redo that. I don't think I spent more than 10 minutes um, per room because it's been staying really, really clutter free and clean. So when you do the home blessing hour, I'm telling you, it really doesn't take more than an hour, depending on the amount of breaks that you take. Um, I'm not counting breaks in the hour. Obviously, it's going to be an hour of cleaning and then you want to add the breaks. I always do the doorknobs because, um, you know, kids, they carry viruses. And again, the vacuum is high traffic areas only, so you don't have to go and get the attachments and do all of the corners and the crevices inside the rooms. That's being done during the zone cleaning. Now you're probably wondering why I'm doing the video this way. Um, just to let you know, my camera broke, so I actually have to record the sound somewhere else and <laughs> try to edit it in. I do have one more video that I did with my um, old camera and that's an empties, it's coming soon. But I pretty much have to go and buy a new camera because mine is just, it's too old. So now we're in the kids' bathroom. That gets swish and swipe every single night during the evening routine. So this time around, I'm just going over everything with the sanitizing wipes, emptying the trash can because that is part of my weekly routine. Just give it a quick mop, in particular surrounding the toilet, because I have boys. And not forgetting the second floor landing. I already vacuumed. Um, I didn't film that, I think. And then same thing with the staircase. I'm going over with a wet rag and some soapy water and the reason why i do that rather than using the mop it's because it allows me to really tackle the corners where all of the um dog hair and leftover cat hair because i still have some of those uh, tend to gather i'm taking another break here don't forget to hydrate it particularly if you're working in the heat like i am here's my living room you guys it stayed pretty well cleaned clutter free and organized the kids have really participated they make sure that they clean up after themselves now don't worry about using those clorox wipe on your wood what i usually do is that i go over um, surfaces and then the rag eventually or the cloth eventually dries up 
so I'm just using it to kind of dust and sanitize a little bit it's really not over the years I haven't noticed that it's damaging my wood or anything and again high traffic areas only I'm not moving furniture around to vacuum behind it and for mopping on the first floor I'm using the method squirt and mop the one in almond I'm finishing that bottle because I purchased it recently I don't think it's all that great to be honest I think it smells wonderful but I'm not sure if it really cleans up so anyway you can see the living room is looking really really nice and again it took less than 15 minutes to do this We're moving on to the dining room. No hot spots, you guys, and I am still not using it as an office. Putting a little bit of lemon oil on my surfaces just to buff my buffet a little bit and nourish it because this is actually a um, expensive piece of furniture, so I want to make sure I preserve it. Doing a quick dusting here and there, changing the tablecloth. And again, high traffic area with the vacuum. Hey. A button to open something. <laughs> I've seen this movie. What is that? It's not a book. It's a book? A TV show. That I've watched? Probably. Oh, I know what it is. That's uh, uh, that's uh, Wayne's Mansion, Batman. Yes. Oh. So the phone's ringing off the hook because Adam West died. Oh. That's deep. Yes. Okay. Whew. Enjoying my 10 minute break. Moving to the kitchen, you can see that everything has stayed pretty much free of clutter. There's not too much stuff on the counters. The one thing I do need to do is clean the top of the stove. I'm just using those Clorox wipes again to go over my counters, making sure I get all of the handles and the pools from the cabinets. And then for the top, I'm using a Dawn detergent and a sponge. And then I'm going over it again with a wet cloth just to remove all of the soap and then buff it dry with some paper towels. Today I'm not going to mop the kitchen, I'm only going to vacuum and get rid of all of the dog's hair and crumbs that I have in there and the reason why I'm doing this is because I mop the kitchen every other day so it's not due to, I filmed this video on Sunday, it's actually due Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays and Sunday I don't do it. We're moving on to the basement and I have to tell you Edward and Willie have kept this basement pretty much the same way that it was two weeks ago. The only things that you would see here and there are the Dorn tissue papers that are constantly left in pockets and end up going into the dryer and as a result when we fold the laundry or pull things out of the dryer we have those pieces of tissue paper all over the basement. So. I didn't um, film the process because all I needed to do was just wipe the surfaces here and just vacuum the whole area, that's it. And the basement altogether took less than five minutes. Mm -hmm. 
So here we go. I'm checking off everything that I did. We picked up all of the stuff that needed to be relocated, emptied all the trash can, I dusted here and there, I sanitized all the surfaces, vacuum and mopped the floor. So yep, successful. Here's a look at my front yard. Um, it definitely needs some work, but I'm still doing the cleaning on the front porch as part of zone one for me. And then I'm telling you, this fly lady, I've maintained the house. This is the cleanest the house has been in a very long time. Granted, I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff and probably need to declutter some more. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to share it with your friends and I will talk to you later. Thank you for watching, you guys. Bye.